Hello friends, I'm Saurabh. Let's have a look at another interesting problem today which is how to find least common ancestor of two nodes in a binary tree. So the problem statement is, given a binary tree and two tree nodes A and B, we have to find the lowest common ancestor of the nodes. Let's understand the problem using an example given here. We are given this binary tree and nodes 4 and 8. We have to find lowest common ancestor of these two nodes. So all ancestors of node 4 are 1 and 2 all ancestors of node 8 are 1, 2 and 5. As we can see that common ancestors of these two nodes are nodes 1 and 2. And the lowest common ancestor is 2 because it is the lowest node in the tree which is an ancestor of both nodes 4 and 8. Any other common ancestor of 4 and 8 will be at higher level than node 2. Similarly, LCA of 2 and 3 is 1. LCA of 4 and 2 is 2 itself. LCA of 4 and 3 is 1. LCA of 5 and 1 is 1. The algorithm for this problem is we traverse the tree in bottom up approach. If node A or B is found, we return it to its parent. Parent will check if it was able to get nodes from both of its child. If yes, then parent is LCA. If no, parent will return null. If none of its child returned A or B, else will return not null node. We will understand and visualize the algorithm through an example. First we take a quick look at the code of LCA. Get LCA method takes three inputs. First is current tree node. Second and third parameters are tree nodes A and B for which we have to find LCA. Now if current node is null, we return null. If current node is either A or B, we return the current node. Otherwise we search nodes node A or B in left subtree and then in right subtree. If we are able to find nodes in both left and right subtree, which means current node is LCA. Otherwise return left node if we are able to search node A or B in left subtree or otherwise return right node. Now let's visualize the code through following animations. We are showing current call stack which will be populated when a function is recursively calling for its left or right subtree. Current pointer is currently pointing to node 1. We start with execution of our code. Current node is not null we move on to next step. Current node is not equal to either A or B so we move on to next step. We recursively call for left subtree. This call should return whether node A or node B was found in left subtree. If not then it should return null. Now since we are calling get LCA function recursively we store function state in a call stack so that when the execution of call to left subtree returns, we can resume execution for current function call. Current pointer is currently pointing to node 2. Since current pointer is not null, we move on to next step. Since current is not equal to A or B, we move on to next step. Here we call get LCA function recursively for the left subtree. So we first store function state in call stack and then current will be pointing to node 4. Here again current is not equal to null, we move on to next step. Here finally current node is equal to A. Hence we return current node which is A. We go back to our, our previous call stack. Here we had executed till step 3 and now left node has value 4. Now we call get LCA function recursively for right subtree and save current state again on call stack. Current pointer is pointing to node 5. Since it is not equal to null, we move on to next step. It is not equal to A or B, we move on to next step. We call get LCA function recursively for left subtree, saving function state on call stack. Current pointer is pointing to node 7. Since it is not equal to null, we move on to next step. It is not equal to A or B, we move on to next step. And we call left subtree recursively, saving the function state on call stack. Now current is equal to equal to null, so we return null here. We go back to our previous call stack, here we had executed till step 3 and now left node has value null. Now we call get LCA function recursively for right subtree and save current state again on call stack. Current is null here, so this function call will return null. We go back to our previous call stack, so now left and right both are null, so this function call will return null. We go back to our previous call stack. We had executed till step 3 and now left node has value null. Now we call get LCA function recursively for right subtree and save current state again on call stack. Now 
current node is pointing to node 8 so this is equal to B so we return current node we go back to our previous call stack so now left is null and right is 8 so this condition will fail since left equal to equal to null we return right which means we return 8 we go back to our previous call stack where left is 4 and right is 8 which means 2 is the lowest common ancestor because lowest common ancestor is the node where both the nodes A and B will diverge to left and right subtree if you consider any other common ancestor of nodes A and B you will find that both nodes A and B will lie either on right or left subtree please note that there is edge case where node A could be parent of node B in this case node A is the lowest common ancestor since left is not equal to null and right is not equal to null we return current node which is node 2 we go back to our previous call stack here left is equal to 2 and then we will call recursively get LCA function for right subtree here current is pointing to node 3 since current is not equal to null we'll call left subtree here current is equal to null it will return null now we'll call for right subtree again right is null we'll return back and here finally we'll return null so we go back to our previous call stack where left is 2 and right is null and finally 2 will be returned which is our solution was code visualization helpful in better understanding of the algorithm let us know how we can improve on our visualization techniques please let us know your valuable suggestion on current topic if you like our video please subscribe to our ideas of channel like the video and share it with your friends thank you